What do you think about taking a trip to the beach this weekend? Setlana inquired of her friend. Setlana's friend asked her, is it possible for a single mom to have a personal life? She found it amusing when people asked about her personal life, wondering where that even comes from. Setlana had to juggle work during the day, helping her kids with homework in the evening, cooking, cleaning, and doing laundry. She was too busy to party or even take a walk at night. It was a challenge to find time to spend with her kids, either taking them to her mother's or leaving them alone. Neither option was feasible for her, and asking her ex to watch them was also difficult. He could only sit with them for a couple of hours during the day and always had excuses. Setlana wondered how single moms managed to go on dates. Setlana, I don't understand why you think that way. Being a single mom doesn't mean that one cannot have a personal life. It's not a laughing matter. The personal front refers to one's emotional and romantic life, and it's important for everyone. I agree that managing work, kids, and household chores alone is not easy, but it's not impossible. And as for going out and having fun, it's all about planning and prioritizing. It's true that having a supportive partner can make things easier, but it's not the only solution. Single moms can also rely on friends, family, or a babysitter to have some time for themselves. It's important to take care of ourselves and our happiness, not just for admiration or someone to take care of us, but for our own well-being. But you have to take him somewhere, this man, and I can't go out. Listen, you're acting like I'm from another planet. Nowadays, there are plenty of dating apps and websites, and your friends can introduce you to someone if you ask. You don't have to go to fancy restaurants every time, spend three hours getting ready, and worry about what to do with the kids. You can invite him over to your place too, have a cozy evening, and chat over tea. You can send the kids to their room while you and your date spend time in the kitchen. After all, your friends come to your place too. It doesn't have to be that way, Svetlana. You can take things slow and get to know someone before inviting them over. And you don't have to introduce them to your children right away. It's important to be cautious and protect your family, but you also deserve to have a personal life and find someone to share it with. Have you thought about trying online dating or joining social groups where you can meet new people with similar interests? That way, you can take things at your own pace and decide when you're ready to introduce someone to your children. You can introduce them as your friends or just someone you're hanging out with. And if it doesn't work out, you don't have to see them again. But hey, it's up to you. I'm just suggesting some options. Her friend smiled at her reassuringly. After some time, Svetlana reconsidered the question. She knew a few women who had successfully remarried with children from their previous marriage and were leading a happy life. However, she couldn't even have a casual relationship. She wasn't ready to get married yet and hand over her children's care to someone else. She just wanted to feel like a woman again, occasionally. She didn't want to stay home in her kitchen, as her friend suggested. Setlana wanted to dress up nicely, go out to the movies, or go to a cafe for a leisurely time. It's been so long since she went out for a night stroll that she couldn't even remember. What are your thoughts on whether single mothers can have a personal life? Is it appropriate for them to frequently leave their children with their grandmothers to go on dates? And is it safe to invite unknown men into their homes?